show of hands. How many of you exercise regularly? Good. It's a few. Yeah. Okay. That's where the change has to come because as we age, you don't just lose muscle and bone, but exercise is really the one key component to health. It's the simplest and easiest thing to do, and it doesn't take a long time. That's the big misnomer. Everybody thinks exercise takes a really long time. It doesn't. It can be quick. Now, if you look at these numbers, just think of how much exercise reduces all of these health issues, and it's a heck of a lot better than taking a drug to try to combat some of these issues. So strength training and exercise, much quicker, much easier. It reduces heart disease by half. Strokes by almost 65%. And the biggest thing is diabetes, 75%. Everybody gets hit over the head now with obesity and how type 2 diabetes is on the rise in this country. It's the only thing that will stop. Forget drugs. It's too expensive. You do it with a little exercise, it will really make a huge difference in your life. If I told you that you could reduce your risk of cancer by a third, I think most people would probably say, okay, not a bad idea. Brain impairment, strokes, high blood pressure. It's a thing with a lot of stress in a job and a lot of being sedentary. <coughs> blood pressure goes up, cholesterol goes up, obviously because of food choices, things like that. The four components to increase your health, they're that simple. And it's very funny that you look at strength being the first one and it's by the American Heart Association. They say strength is important. What's the heart? It's a four-chambered muscle. If you strengthen your body, you strengthen your heart. If you strengthen your heart, your odds of living longer and not contracting heart disease, your heart, you, obviously you'll live longer, contracting heart disease goes way down. Does it make sense? Same thing with flexibility. The reason why flexibility is so important is because joints, as we age, start to compress. That's what makes arthritis. I'm not talking rheumatoid, which is, is uh, something totally unique and, and different. I'm just talking osteo, regular arthritis. Arthritis means bone on bone, and what happens is the body tries to make bone go away to reduce the stress. That bone that's built inside of a joint is the thing that hurts the joint. Because if you've got this pushing down on the joint, obviously you think it's going to hurt a little, right? So that's really the goal of flexibility. Cardiovascular exercise kind of makes sense that the American Journal of Cardiology talks about how important cardiovascular exercise is. And then balance. Center for Disease Control, last year, over 300,000 hospital stays from falls in the U.S. It's just from people falling because they don't have good balance. It's as simple as when you brush your teeth in the morning, try to stand on one foot. Spend 30 seconds on one foot. 30 seconds on another foot, you're done. And you won't fall. 